The Adobe Premiere Pro versus DaVinci Resolve debate is one of the most talked about comparisons in video editing right now. And let's be real, if you're about to dive into editing or upgrade from something basic, picking the right software can feel like a big decision. Do you go with the industry standard powerhouse that so many pros rely on, or the sleek, all-in-one editor that's getting crazy popular and is technically free? That's why in this video, we're breaking it all down. And you'll definitely want to stick around to the end because there's one thing most people completely overlook when choosing between the two. And if you miss it, you could be wasting hours in your workflow. Plus, if you end up choosing Premiere Pro, I've got a full beginner tutorial linked in the description that'll get you started fast and frustration-free. So when it comes to Adobe Premiere Pro versus DaVinci Resolve, both are incredibly capable, but they approach things in different ways. Premiere Pro is built for flexibility. It works on both Mac and Windows, handles almost every format you throw at it, and integrates directly with Adobe's ecosystem. That means if you're bouncing between After Effects, Photoshop, Audition, you're getting this seamless workflow that just connects everything. It's perfect for creators who want total control over every detail of their project and who might be collaborating with others using different Adobe tools. DaVinci Resolve, on the other hand, feels like it was built from the ground up with modern creators in mind. It's not just an editor, it's an entire post-production studio in one app. You get cutting, trimming, transitions, but also professional level color grading, visual effects, motion graphics, and even audio mixing, all under one roof. And the best part, the basic version is completely free. No watermarks, no weird limitations, just full-on editing capabilities right out of the gate. But here's the honest truth, both programs come with a bit of a learning curve. DaVinci's layout can feel unfamiliar at first, especially if you've only used beginner tools before. It splits things into tabs like Cut, Edit, Fusion, Color, and Fairlight, which can be super powerful once you get the hang of it, but also kind of intimidating early on. Meanwhile, Premiere Pro might look overwhelming with all its panels and tools, but it's modular, so you can customize your workspace, set up your shortcuts, and create a flow that actually works for you. Once it clicks, it's smooth. Now, if we're being real, Premiere Pro does have some bugs from time to time. You might run into playback lag or an unexpected crash if you're working with heavy footage and haven't optimized your settings. That can be frustrating, but Adobe pushes updates often, and when things are running properly, the performance is solid, especially with GPU acceleration and proxies set up. Resolve, meanwhile, is known for being fast and efficient, especially on newer machines. It's optimized well and tends to run smoother right out of the box, even without much tweaking. Another thing to consider is collaboration. Premiere is still the go-to in professional environments, agencies, film studios, freelance teams, because of how compatible it is across different workflows. Resolve is catching up fast, but Premiere's compatibility with other Adobe tools still gives it an edge if you're working across multiple platforms or handing files off to someone else. At the end of the day, this Adobe Premiere Pro versus DaVinci Resolve comparison really comes down to what kind of projects you're making and how deep you want to go. If you want a clean, powerful tool with everything built into one app, Resolve is incredibly impressive, especially for free. But if you want something that gives you full creative control, integrates with other pro tools, and grows with you as your projects get bigger, Premiere Pro is still hard to beat. And remember, this isn't just about what the software can do, it's about how it fits your workflow. And that one overlooked thing I mentioned earlier, time. If a tool saves you time, whether it's through better templates, faster exports, or a workflow that just feels right, it's worth it. Don't underestimate that. If you're leaning toward Premiere Pro and want a solid place to start, check out the beginner tutorial I linked below. It'll walk you through everything step by step and help you avoid the exact mistakes I made when I first started. You don't want to miss that. Whichever one you choose, the most important part is just getting started and sticking with it. Because once you figure out your flow, the edits start to come to life in a way that makes the whole process worth it.